Officials in Ukraine say their military has attacked the headquarters of Russia's notorious Wagner Group in the east of the country. Ukrainian officials say that their forces have struck the headquarters of Russia's notorious Wagner Group in eastern Ukraine based at a hotel. Wagner are, are state-sponsored mercenaries, according to Western experts. Their boss was filmed earlier this year recruiting people in prisons. The biggest sin is desertion. No one backs down, no one retreats, no one surrenders. The recruited prisoners were reportedly sent to fight in Ukraine, hence the group has become a target. And while the BBC was unable to independently verify Wagner's presence at the hotel, stills shared on Telegram show extensive damage to the building. Our news reporter Azadeh Moshiri told me more about the Wagner group. According to Western experts, they tend to act in the Kremlin's interests and do their bidding. Now, now that's naturally why they're, why they're in Ukraine. They've been in other countries before as well. They were uh, in Libya, they've been in Syria, and they were in Crimea during the 2014 uh, invasion that Russia uh, uh, waged on Ukraine. So essentially it's wherever Russia wants to have a stronger military presence. Uh, and while they are uh, a, a state-sponsored mercenary group, because of the fact that they're also a private entity, uh, they tend to be a shadowy group. Their, their leader, uh, Yevgeny Prigozhin, is a close associate of President Putin's uh, and he's a former restaurateur. He's been accused of various human rights abuses as well as war crimes. Now, in the video you showed earlier, we saw him recruiting uh, Russian prisoners, convicts in, in Russian prisons. Uh, and according to reports, what he's been doing is uh, promising them that they can have their sentences commuted if they serve with the group in Ukraine. But naturally, this, this has a lot of risk involved. And it was only earlier uh, that uh, the body of a Zambian student was returned to his uh, relatives uh, at Lusaka Airport. Uh, and according to the group, uh, he was recruited last month and he was serving time for drug uh, convictions and drug charges. But the family naturally want a full explanation of what happened to him. So all these reasons why this group is uh, such an important target to Ukrainian forces. Mm. And what more do we know about this strike? So according to the uh, Ukrainian governor of, the, uh, of Luhansk, there was a Ukrainian force hit on the hotel that serves as a headquarters for this group. Uh, but again, the BBC hasn't actually verified independently the group's presence uh, at the hotel. Uh, but according to the governor, uh, this meant uh, there were serious uh, Russian losses uh, during this attack. But the backdrop to all this is that uh, there's a biting winter going on, uh, and yet uh, the war is continuing, uh, and uh, there's a tremendous loss of life that is still going on. Now, uh, the latest attack uh, has meant that uh, Odessa is suffering uh, a lot of power cuts right now. Uh, Russia is still using lethal drones. Uh, Ukraine says that they did uh, target and managed to hit 10 of those drones, but five did hit critical infrastructure, energy facilities, and that means 1.5 million uh, people are without power during this biting cold during this winter. And President Zelensky uh, did remind Ukrainians that it takes days, not hours, to restore power. Meanwhile, Ukrainian forces are still trying to retake occupied uh, territory. So it's a very difficult winter to come.